Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself. And I'm here to discuss my review of this awesome TV show. Yes, a TV show that I'm reviewing, but this ain't my first rodeo because I did review Wednesday and his Dark Materials back in the day. So on this TV show, this is also based on a YA adaption and it's been a been an absolute hit on Netflix. Shadow and Bone, starring Jesse May Lee, Archie Renault, Freddie Carter, Kit Young, Ben Barnes, and others. <laughs> you know, we have an interesting cast here. They are so young and so attractive. When I grow up, I wanna be famous, I wanna be star, I wanna be in movies. I'm not gonna lie though. I know I absolutely fell in love, love, love with this show. It is amazing. Amazing. It is based on based on the on the cult trilogy tree right here. Uh, ain't it beautiful? But that's not all. I even got the entire collection. All the way from the first book, book to the anthology book, The Language of Thorns. Thorns. Every book from the Grishka verse. Oh, it's so amazing I have this collection. So get this. The reason why I'm doing the review on Shadow and Bone is because, because I got a ticket from one iota. Oda to be invited to see the screening of a uh, season two of Sharon Bone. Usually, the show was gonna come on, come on March sixteenth next Tuesday. I mean next Thursday, but turns out they're giving an early, they're giving an early treatment for all, all fan, for all fans. Oh my God, <laughs> I am, I am so glad. I just can't wait to see it. You know, you know, it is quite incredible though. Oh, but let's move on to the plot of Shadow and Bone. So this involved of Alina Starkov, who was a map photographer who grew up as an orphan. 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 And she has her friend Matt. Friend Mal, who are who were childhood best friends, but that all changed until she entered the fold and hold and encountered with Fulcras. They're they're these vicious little creatures that live live in this darkness called the fold. Hold, but a miracle happened until she had the ability to summon the sun out of her hands. Yes. She's a sun, sun summoner uh, among the Grishka folk. According to the Grishka, there are lots of people who who could do an amazing powers. Powers. Some of them can control the elements like air, fire, and water. Water. Some of them can control metal. Metal. But but being the sun summoner is rare. Very rare. Though I just admire, just admire Alina. She is definitely one of my favorite characters in this movie. But not only her, I do believe one of my favorite characters. My other favorite character is definitely Jesper. I'm good, yeah, I'm feeling alright, baby. He is so flamboyant. Oh yeah, speaking of Jesper, we even get to see the see the crows see the members of the crows so far only three of them because because they only because they have a have their own series called six of crows so far and now there's only only three of them we got we got Cass who is the leader I'm not gonna cry anymore. leader Inej who is a knife swill knife wielding assassin and Jesper, who is a gunslinger. 
Oh, he's an incredible character. Character. He is a he is so much fun. Oh no. I by me really, and and also we also have the main villain of this movie 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 General Alexander Kirigan played by played by Ben Barnes. You know, Y'all might know him from, from the Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, but but he also goes by another name, the Darkling. Yes, yes. His his character in this show show goes by different types of names. Names. I mean, black the black general, the black heretic, tick, and so on. I gotta say, he was one of those sexy but deadly villains ever. He was pretty ruthless. So, and I gotta say, say he was an absolute threat in this show. So, I'm not gonna lie. I, I gotta say, hey. It, but it, I do find it quite a little guilty that I do f do like both Alina and and Alex as a couple though. I mean, sun sun and shadow <laughs> definitely screams yin and yang. If I ask it So where was I? I really, but I, so I really do like everything, thing about this show. It was intense. It was insane. It was so strange yet very gripping. It was gripping. I love every single plot. I like the plot, the the costume designs, times the magic and everything. I really did like the like the characters though, especially this other other two cup these other two people who are soon to be part of the crows, crows Nina and Matthias though. I was I really did like like the the bomb between them after. After that shipwreck, wreck, they it did look like they were gonna. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> no. But that all changed until she betrayed him. But in a good way. But he doesn't see it that way. I hope they do do work it out though. Though in season two. So yeah, I guess that's it. It I mean I mean I really did love it how it ended. It was so awesome. Awesome how how Alina owned her power by using by using the sun. It was incredible. incredible. She de she definitely gives Harry Potter or Claire Clary Freya run for her money. Money. She is a she is amazing. Okay. So for my score for this show, I think I'll give it a nine. Definitely a nine. Which means I am definitely ready to see the season to see the premiere of season two tonight. Okay guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure you all see Shadow and Bone on Netflix. Bye!